Hey, this is Noel's Winner's Warehouse. Interesting article came out today in the Wall Street Journal and it was talking about baby boomers aging in place. And some of this helps perpetuate the issue with lack of supply because the baby boomers aren't moving out of their houses. Uh, many of them are aging in place. There's technology there to help them age in place. Millennials don't want to move to these large houses in the suburbs. So that is just another aspect of the housing market that is interesting to look at. What I find interesting is I was talking about the senior housing. Several years back, we really started looking at, or our, our markets started looking at when uh, baby boomers were aging and, and the time that they're gonna to wanna to move into more of an assisted care situation. A lot of people built senior housing. There's another aspect to this that I didn't talk about is that there's also build for rent developers who are building housing designed for seniors to age in place, but uh, they're, they're building these, these communities where, for example, in the article I talked about how seniors don't wanna to move to a place with a bunch of other old people. Well, that's not necessarily true. They just maybe don't wanna to move to an apartment. And I've seen this in Texas in some areas. I've seen it in a couple other areas where you have a housing development go up that is rentals designed for the baby boomers right next to a uh, luxury um, apartment senior housing. And they're having trouble with their occupancy on the senior housing in the rentals in the actual single family homes. They're, I mean, they're, they have a waiting list to get in. And so it's just some anecdotal evidence, but I think there's a lot more factors than just that they can age in place. But aging in place is a big deal because the technology is coming out to allow them to age in place. The problem that I see with this is that when they retrofit these homes and then they end up passing away and they need to sell these homes, uh, they're going to be retrofitted for, for senior living and somebody coming in and buying is going to have to re -retro redo the house so that they can actually live in it. And that's going to cause some value issues. Um, and so the, uh, the more, more interesting part for me is the build for rent that's building these homes that are for these seniors that can live in a house like home that has all of the amenities of an apartment, but then they can sit on their porch and they can have their dog and they have a little bit of yard in the back and they have everything else is taken care of and they're usually single story homes. So great stuff. Just would like to get your thoughts on this. I think it's an interesting dynamic in the market and I think those who went all in on the senior housing apartments might have some trouble going in. I mean, we're looking at uh, uh, occupancy rates of 80%, 85%. Uh, that's pretty low or that's pretty high uh, vacancy. So let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Thanks.